IK here. One of the main gotchas for people switching to Linux on the desktop is the lack of Microsoft Office on the OS. However, today we are going to look at some alternatives to it. Currently, the major Office suites available for the Linux desktop are LibreOffice, SoftMaker Office, WPS Office, and Only Office. And these are the ones I am going to look at today. I am not going to look at Caligra Office because it seems to be unmaintained. The same goes with GNOME Office which includes AB Word and Numeric, though you are free to try them out if you wish to. I am also not going to lo look at Open Office which is practically re uh, redundant by now and it has almost been fully replaced by Liber Office. First up we have Liber Office. Liber Office is the most open of the bunch. It is open source, its development is done online and publicly and the community is a big part of the office suite. It is by far the most feature rich office suite from the ones we are looking at today and also the most extendable. However, LibreOffice's compatibility with the proprietary file formats of MS Office which is supposed to be an open standard but it's anything but. Support for these formats is still frankly suboptimal. They are trying to improve it and the improve, uh, uh, compatibility has increased by leaps and bounds in the previous few years. But I still wouldn't trust it on mission critical issues just yet. A frequent complaint about Liber Office is its dated look and feel. However, the inclusion of a ribbon toolbar and a prompt to switch the user interface on the first run puts the Office Suite as the most highly recommended Office Suite in this list by me. Next up we have OnlyOffice. OnlyOffice is a comparative newcomer on the Office Suite scene. It was initially developed as an Office Suite to be run on a browser and its desktop app is still a, an electronish app in disguise. It also has a server version available for use in web browsers and it's where it gets its main business. OnlyOffice has somewhat better compatibility with MS Office files as it was designed to be compatible with them from the gr uh, ground up. But it is still noticeably slower than the other office suites because it is based on Electron and it has far less advanced features. But if you want something basic which looks and feels like MS Office, only Office is the way to go. Next up we have SoftMaker Office. SoftMaker Office is a paid and proprietary office suite. But by my experience, it has by far the highest compatibility with MS Office files and it looks and feels quite similar as well. It also has a free but less featured version named Free Office. If you want something that just works and don't care about open source and are willing to shell out some money, SoftMaker Office is the absolute best choice. Even their Free Office variant is honestly pretty good. WPS Office is another proprietary office suite with a free version available. Their free version however is locked down and ad supported. WPS Office however is Chinese software and is therefore not applicable to the GDPR or any other privacy rules except for those in China. So I would recommend using it as a flat pack with networking disabled just in case. Compatibility wise WPS Office hovers somewhere in between only Office and SoftMaker. It, it has quite good uh, compatibility but it has font issues and rendering issues and editing issues. Um, so if you really need ch good Chinese support for some reason, WPS may be what you're looking for. Otherwise, you would probably bet be better off with one of the other office suites. I also did some scientific testing on the different features available in all the different office suites in the writer and the presentation software. I personally don't have much experience with spreadsheets, so I only tested the basic stuff. But if you have some specific needs, it would be better if you test the, out the software by yourselves. Some notable points are that only Office does not support uh, animations and it has only some basic transitions like fade and swipe. And the files exported with SoftMaker Office are not very compatible with the other Office suites, especially Liber Office. Uh, I have de some detailed tables made detailing each feature which I tested and they are on your screen now. So you can pause the video and check for both the writer and the presentation details. 
Another thing I noticed is that WPS Office has terrible font support. It does not get the fonts from the PC. It, I don't know where it gets the fonts from. It does not get most of them. So it re- and it has very bad font substitution. It will put serif fonts where it should clearly be sans serif fonts and all that. I have attached the sample files which I used to test uh, all the four office suites in the description. So you can check these out for yourselves. Uh, it has much more details. I am not going to go into much details. But basically, Softmaker has somewhat okayish export quality. As in, its files are somewhat compatible with the other office suites. Liber Office's export quality is much better. Only Office lies somewhere in between. It has less features, but its export quality is great. And WPS has great export quality, but its import quality is very bad, which makes it, which hinders it from being one of the better Office suites, in my opinion. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and share it with everyone. Uh, bye.